Hey guys, welcome and to some of you, welcome back. Uh, today I'm flying the Rafal, Rafal C in this case. Um, this Rafal is a free mod, it's created by Questa Brothers. And um, again, I actually like it, I like it a lot. Let me kind of go over this, uh, do a basic flight, a couple of things I want to show. Okay, let's get the flaps down, check the, the surfaces that move, and then let's go in the cockpit. Okay, so in the cockpit now, basically we're going to do a basic takeoff uh, with afterburners and all that good stuff. Uh, so, um, and then what I want to do is uh, kind of talk a bit about it because I have actually tested it. I've tested it thoroughly. So let's take off and then we'll go into it. Okay, let's, uh, I don't know what that was about. but Okay, it's picking up speed, 150. You can rotate. Let it lift off. Let those gears up. 330, 340 flaps up, and let's bring it after the afterburner, out of the afterburner. So, okay, let me talk a little bit about this. Um, while I, I just kind of show you its, uh, its basic turns and all that, and then I'll get into some of the stuff I, I really like to do in, in basically every airplane, especially the Rafal. So, uh, the I already tested this uh, this mod. I tested it per uh, performance, graph performance. I, I mostly did it at the sea level, <clears throat> and it's very accurate with the turning rates both sustained and instantaneous um, specifically in the mid area we're talking about uh, anything above what was it, uh, uh, 350 kilometers per hour up to uh, you know uh, 11 1500 or 11 1200 kilometers per hour it was pretty accurate uh, once you got to the edges that he kind of lost some of the accuracy kind of went haywire but uh, for the most part the middle part is actually accurate so when you turn it at 500 and 400 and 380 kilometers per hour it uh, it's actually pretty uh, close to the actual one also it's fly-by-wire so you're telling the computer you know pull this much so it's not going to stall it it's just going to keep it in a uh, you know nice turn because uh, the aerodynamically speaking if you look at the canards and delta wings, those are very hard to, um, uh, you know, they basically the, the way this airplane is set up, it needs fly-by-wire. It needs a computer to fly, otherwise it's too unstable. Um, okay, so having said that, now let's get into stuff I really wanted to do in this. Now, who's seen the Rafal in an air show? And what's the one thing you've seen? It was that high, high uh, nose, high um uh, slow flight with a nose high and uh, that is um, again possible due to computers um, and let's put the flaps down here and let's slow it down there we go let's slow it down um, we'll pretend that we're at an air show and uh, minimum speed minimum speed so, minimum all right, now, speed. 170, I think, is about the minimum slowest speed. thing to go. It'll go maybe 160, but minimum speed. Um, let's uh, put minimum it here. Speed. And we're going to, speed, speed, we're going to control using the, uh, basically the pitch, most of the, uh, minimum speed. whereas the, the altitude, minimum if you look at the speed. variometer on the side, minimum speed. or VSI, as we call it in the U.S., uh, that is controlled by the power. So, minimum speed. about 180. Nose up. Minimum speed. 170, 160. Minimum speed. And then use the power Minimum to keep speed. your uh, altitude. Minimum speed. We got too low. Add some power. There we go. We're back to zero. Minimum Maintain speed. Maintain it. Don't let it go up. Reduce it a little bit. So there you go. Basically, that's that's all you're doing Minimum right here. Speed. That's the pitch is keeping the airspeed, and then your power is keeping Minimum the air speed. altitude. And look at that. This is amazing. Let's look at it from the outside. This is like... Minimum uh, speed. Just beautiful. Minimum speed. Oh, it just, I just love it. I just love it. Look at that. Minimum speed. Minimum speed. Okay, so... Yeah, we're still at zero. I mean, I didn't touch anything, so it's, it stayed speed. there. Once you once you center it, it stays Minimum there. Speed. Now let's start turning uh, Minimum this airplane. Speed. Minimum speed. Just keep it at zero. 
with the power. Keep that pitch Minimum up. Speed. And now you're basically doing slow, slow turns. Minimum speed. Now I know you guys some of you guys find this boring, but this is like is it is a real power? This is like Minimum speed. Cool stuff for me. Minimum speed. Just Minimum speed. Get it, get it right speed. at the edge of that envelope. And, and, Minimum and, and, and speed. Fire. Minimum cool. speed. All right, now um, one thing I did want to uh, show you is Minimum the. Speed. Uh, let's speed it Minimum up a little bit speed. so we so we're not hearing this this Minimum uh, speed. computer talk to us. Minimum speed. Minimum speed. Okay, so let's go about 250. We don't want to go too fast. Let's do a rudder. This is something that's kind of disappointing in a Rafale and I think in the F22A at the same time. Um, let's not climb too much. Uh, let's go with a rudder. Let's. I'm gonna press the rudder and look at that. Yeah, it's yawing. It's yawing, but there is no roll. I mean, it's just basic minor. Nothing. There should be a roll. When you press the rudder, there should be a roll, not just the yaw. Okay, so, uh, and, and the reason being is if we look to the back, uh, you see the rudder is only on top. There's nothing on the bottom. So, it would be like having one aileron. When you press it, it should roll the plane too, not just yaw it, right? Okay, now, the, why is that important? Because, uh, well, it's important because um, you use that in dogfight. You need that rolling dogfight uh, when you are doing scissors, uh, rolling scissors and horizontal scissors. So, um, what should it look like? I, maybe you can compensate it for the uh, for the rudder. Minimum speed. Okay, let's. let's Minimum let's, speed. Let's not have her talk to us. Minimum so, speed. Uh, what should it look like? Probably something like this. That. That's what a rudder should look like. But I, of course, I, I cheated and I added that with the uh, with a aileron. So basically, when you're when you're rolling, that's what that's what the rudder roll should look like. All right. Of course, that uh, doesn't happen in a Rafale or the F-22A, unfortunately. Okay, so moving on, there is one thing I want you to be aware of in this um, in this Rafale. Let's make sure those flaps are up. No air brakes. Okay, the um, keep an eye on your airspeed when you're dogfighting um, because um, it if you're around a thousand or above and you start dogfighting, full afterburner, and I'm starting to dogfight. There's a full deflection you are not going to slow down the airspeed is increasing and the faster you go the slower you turn so if you're dock fighting somebody and you're doing a maximum two circle speed. fight maximum you, speed you will actually reach maximum speed maximum speed maximum speed You will actually reach maximum speed with uh, uh, even with a full uh, elevator deflection. Now, I don't know if that is true in a real Rafale, but at least in this one it is. So, uh, in that case, what you want to do is you want to keep it at about 950, 960, 970. At this point, even with a full afterburner, you will slowly start to drop. Uh, the airspeed is slowly dropping and then as you get slower it drops faster and faster and faster and then finally it, I think this with a full deflection the slowest it will go is about 300 or 310 so there we are then it's not going to go below that he so. just has two, two powerful engines is that in a real is that real in a fall I don't know just be careful when you are dogfighting to um, if you're fast, you may actually keep speeding up and uh, get yourself um, uh, unable to do a, a tight corner. So, 
Um, but uh, uh, the, the the turn speeds, even at 900, 950, the sustained turn speeds, they're very accurate. So let's say if we want to do a sustained turn at 600, or uh, yeah, 600, there we go. Let's keep it at 600. Then you, you can still do it. But that will give you uh, a certain turn rate. And that turn rate is actually accurate per, per, per graph, uh, per performance. Alright, cool. Now I think I'm getting low on fuel. Let's go land. And uh, let's talk a little bit about landing. There's a couple of things that I noticed. Um, on, on this Rafal, it doesn't want to slow down. Um, under 300, it has a. Even with the air brakes on, I think. Yeah, we got the air brakes on, the flaps are down. And let's even put the gear down. The. It doesn't want to slow down. 280, 270. So uh, be careful with that when you're coming in for a landing. The second thing, um, now this is kilometers per hour. I'm not sure what the actual fall is. I don't know if it's knots or not. But in this case, we do have 280. That's kilometers per hour. If you remember our stall speed or uh, max uh, minimum uh, Controllable airspeed was about 160, 170. So what we're going to do in in knots, we want to add 30 in kilometers per hour. Let's add 60. So uh, what is it? 170 plus 60. What is that? 230. That should be our final approach speed. Now a lot of you guys are saying, yeah, no, no, you don't want to do that. You know, that's those graphs and there's uh, you know formulas for that. And you know what? Screw that. Honestly, as a real pilot. Uh, what you take is minimum plus 30 and that kind of gives you the rough uh, actual speed now once you're on final you can make adjustments but uh, that's where you start off with so you know what guys keep it simple don't don't complicate airplanes you know a lot of people are just like try to make these things complicated hey, look it's two wings and a bunch of controls right it's a flying can that's that's all it is just put it down on the, you know, on the center line. Okay, so what do we say? 230. All right, so let's see. 240. Oh, look at that! Amazing. It works. Yeah, that's the first landing I'm doing properly, honestly. There it is. 230. And then you take out the power, and you probably touch down at 200 or so, 210. Okay. There you go. Alright, see, like I said, don't complicate it, guys. Keep it simple. It's, it's, you know, it's just flying. It's not mysterious. You just, you got a stick, you got that rudder, and you got throttle, wherever that is in the, on the, on the Rafal. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, that was it, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. I know I put out a dogfight before I put out this video. Uh, technically, I shouldn't have done that, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's pretty fun. This Rafal is pretty fun. Uh, uh, Cuesta Brothers, they did a pretty good job on it, for the most part. Um, cockpit's pretty cool. I know it doesn't have the MFDs and all that, but you know what? As a pilot, I never look inside the cockpit anyway. That's why I like to look outside. and You know, well, I can do this at home, right? <laughs> but looking outside, seeing the sky, seeing the ground, seeing the beauty of uh, planet Earth... That's the whole point of flying, guys. So keep your eyes outside, not inside. So. Okay, until next time, take care, guys. I hope you liked the video, uh, and um, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.